So today we're going to be replacing the wax guard in this Wide X uh, Rick hearing aid. This is their new release, the uh, the Moment, but this is the same system uh, that works with uh, their Evoke, their Beyond, uh, Unique, uh, Dream, Clear. This is the same system they've been using for a long time. It's a proven system. It works well, and uh, and I suspect they're going to continue to be using it for quite some time. Um, so sitting on the end, the piece that goes into the ear is the dome. We're going to remove that simply by grabbing a hold of the flange and pulling straight off. It's important that you uh, it's important that you don't grab it and and try to pull laterally sideways. Uh, you want to take it right off the end. And then once you've removed that, you've exposed the filter that's sitting right here in the end. That's what's called a uh, Saru Stop wax guard. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to grab our package of replacement wax guards. And inside we have eight black sticks. We're going to take one of those sticks out. And what we have sitting on the end is a white filter. And on the other end, we have a little hook that has two barbs on it. Uh, and that's what we use to, uh, to remove it. So we want to stick that barb straight into the end, into the center of it. Uh, it's important you do not want to pry. You want to go straight in. It sort of clicks in to position, then pull straight out. And you can see now that I've removed the old wax guard. Uh, once we've done that, I'm going to turn this stick around and just simply, same thing, push straight in, straight out. Again, it's important you don't go at an angle. Uh, you wanna go straight in, straight out. And uh, we've now removed that. And then you take your dome, I want you to, before you put the same dome back on, I want you to take a look on the inside, make sure it's nice and clear, you don't see any wax inside. If you do see some wax, you can use a toothpick, you can use a toothbrush, uh, whatever means to, uh, to remove that wax, or you can simply grab a replacement dome. And when you're putting it back onto the end, I want you to watch, if you look carefully, there are two ribs sitting there. It's important when you replace the dome that you slide it over top of both of those ribs so that it's held on nice and secure. You give it a little bit of a tug to make sure that it's in place and uh, now you should be good to go.